few days ago, I made a video explaining a simple way to get to orbit for complete beginners, and some of you guys had some objections. So today, I'm going to come out in defense of the Noob Ascent profile and why I think it is better for complete beginners compared to a standard gravity turn. Let's start by discussing the main talking point. Obviously, this method is less efficient than a gravity turn, but do you know what is worse than your trajectory being inefficient? Banging your head against a wall for hours because your rocket keeps flipping whenever you try to turn it. I don't know about you, but this is something I struggled with when I was a beginner. Hell, Sometimes it even happens to me now if I'm not careful. I also know for a fact that this is a very common problem. Now the thing is, if you saw the video and thought that is inefficient, that's a great thing. It means that you know enough about rocketry that you can apply more advanced techniques and understand the reasoning for them. But it also means that the tutorial wasn't meant to be helpful for you specifically. Remember, the video says it's for your first time getting to orbit. Many of us have been playing this game for over 10 years, and it's very easy to forget just how steep the learning curve of this game is. It's very important to remember that we were all noobs once, and chances are you used the Noob Ascent profile for your first orbit too. Now for those of you who want to know how to do an ideal gravity turn, I'll be posting a detailed video about it sometime soon, but in the meantime, I'd recommend checking out videos by YouTubers like Scott Manley or Mike Aben, who post some absolutely brilliant Kerbal Space Program tutorials, or just keep using the Noob Ascent profile, whichever you find most enjoyable.